Hey John here again. So uh, this video is just a follow-up video on an HVAC uh, unit that I put in myself and uh, a viewer requested it so that's why I'm doing it but the uh, video itself is uh, it's got to be a couple of years old by now and it's had probably uh, 50, 60,000 view, maybe more. I don't know. I haven't checked in a while, but uh, apparently there's people out there that want to, uh, you know, at least to get some ideas on, you know, doing their own, uh, whether it's a uh, heating, air conditioner, whatever the case. Uh, so I'm just going to go around and uh, yeah, everything's fine with it. It's worked perfect. I'll just go around and show you a few things, and that'll be that. Uh, as far as you know, comments goes on this particular video. That's uh, I'll go from everywhere from hero to zero I mean you know these so-called professionals uh, this this guy you shouldn't watch this blah 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 to uh, thanks a lot this helped a lot you know it is what it is at no point in any video that I've ever done I say it I'm a professional and this is how you should do it it's just what I did you know what I mean like this is my house I'll do what I want if, if uh, if I did something wrong or it's ugly or whatever, so what? It works. <laughs> so I'll go around and show you, and uh, we'll uh, we'll explain two things. Right, let's take a trip downstairs. First of all, see what the temperature is. It's not cold enough or uh, hot enough for the AC to come on, but the heat's at 63. It's 69 in here, so it's uh, no reason for that. AC to kick on. You'll have to excuse this mess down here because uh, I'm in the middle of uh, putting in a closet over there because uh, I'm getting too many clothes. They're starting to multiply. So, well, let's go take a peek. It's just uh, under the in the basement. This type of closet, you know. I, get, I ain't done yet, obviously, but it's got a little ways to go. So the HVAC, uh, the A coil, and the furnace, it's all hidden over here. Get this dog get out of the way. It's not hidden, but it's kind of cluttered in here. So, I think what I'll do is uh, I gotta pull this table saw away. I'm gonna pull this table saw away and get set up. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, change that filter because a few people commented that nice job, blah blah blah, but uh, they would have done a different filter. And yeah, I get that. I do. Uh, let me let me pull this away and I'll show you so what I'm talking about. So traditionally, uh, behind this outlet box or the switch there. You know there would be a slot in your uh, in your intake chute there for for a filter, and I had to include mine in in here. I'll show you in a second. Um, even the old furnace, which was the most inefficient furnace ever, it's one of those uh, oil burners with a compartment on the side that uh, you could do wood or coal or whatever. But it, like I said, it, the oil burner, let's say it was here, it would shoot sideways into this compartment, and if there was nothing in there then it would heat up the uh, exchangers up here and it was I was you know I knew the oil guy delivery guy his name was Tim he was here on a regular basis so basically switching us over to gas and doing my own thing here um, it literally paid itself probably that year <laughs> because I just paid for the parts here and, and did all of the labor myself but the the oil expenditure was I, I forgot exactly what it was but we're talking like three thousand dollars a season it was just ridiculous I mean it, it was like I said if you had wood which I do have I have land where you know I can get the wood but you have to be here to feed the wood or coal or whatever otherwise it just you know reverts back to the oil and was just sucking it down like you could almost watch the gauge so anyways the filter would be in here I have to take now I have to um, uh, uh, what I was getting at is the old furnace same idea you would have to take a panel off on a stock system and it, and it sat over the the blower drum just at a 45 and uh, gravity held it in so I did include mine in here and I'll show you how to how I do it as far as uh, you know what I did it is a little bit uh, it's not it's not too bad it's just it's, it's it would be a lot easier just to take your filter out slide a new one in for sure but now I have to take this off and just slide something up but it's not a big deal anyways uh, so everything works great the the trunk uh, if you if you watch the video you would know everything everything here is done by uh, you know even the vent tubes you can see them back there they're uh, they go behind that closet now but uh, anyway so let me set this camera down a little bit and uh, and let me change this uh, filter and show you how, how so that works. So if, uh, if I got a 
uh, traditional filter, you know, the depleted uh, cardboard. Uh, you, you'd have to get the size for it, but what I've, I I bought these. Uh, let me gonna read that. Uh, you, you make your own. It's your own size, and this is just a. I'll show you the thing in a second, but you know, for, it's pet friendly. It says odor control, replacement pad. Um, you cut it to size. Uh, like I said, you can get the the regular kind, but so here's what I did. I just uh, I don't know if you can see down there. I made it so uh, you have to take this bottom piece off, and then uh, you can't see that either. Just scoot you over here a little bit, and then uh, a couple of pieces that have to come out. But that's that's pretty much it, and the filter sits right here. Trying to get a light, and like I said. Jeez, I don't even think I should change that. <laughs> I probably just did it uh, not too long ago. Yeah, I'm just going to put that back. I was going to change it, but it actually is just a little bit here. That filter can go a few more days. <laughs> uh, but this is the piece I was talking about. It's just a, this is a little bit bigger when you, uh, when you buy it. You know, this is just a replacement uh, pad. But when you buy this whole kit, you get this piece of plastic, and you just cut it to size, whatever size your filter would be. And then uh, I, I just taped it on here like this because, you know, as the suction, it's pressing against it, ain't going to go nowhere. Uh, but they do include these little uh, plastic things that poke through and grabs a hold of it, but it's just easier this way. So, anywho, that's that. I'll put this back together and I'll go show you the A coil, I mean, uh, the uh, condenser outside. See, so that just kind of slides in there. Easy peasy, really. And like I said, I had to I had to make this little bracket, and this is just so, you know, when it, when the furnace is drawing air, this just gives it a little bit of I don't want it to you know get sucked into the blower. <laughs> so so I just made this little doohickey. Made this little doohickey and this little kickstand so it parks right there so it stays and then uh, this is just a, a little spacer a little spacer for the bottom just so because this uh this blower does suck a lot my curtains blow <laughs> so anyways that's that part and like i said it's it's not it's it's not horrible it is a little bit more than you would normally do is just you know on a regular trunk just take it up put one in some furnaces you have to take this door off too, like, like, like I said, the old one I had. But it doesn't bother me one bit. Alright, let's go outdoors, I guess. Or I can show you a little around here. Uh, so, I haven't done anything to this furnace, really. As you can see, it's just dusty, but uh, uh, really, there's no tuning that I had to do. The uh, this, this little uh, pump that was the old pump. Everything works fine. Everything is perfect. The air is ice cold air, man. That that air is really cold stuff. I did. I don't know if I showed it on the original video. I packed everything with that foil insulation, uh, uh, whatever you call it, stuff. Threw a little insulation up on the top, uh, just to kind of maintain whether it's heat or AC or whatever. But you 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 can touch this when it's when it's on as far as the heat goes but it's way way hotter than than the original uh you know thing was produced in the original furnace i mean you could still touch it but it, it was hot the other one you can you know it was like lukewarm and uh, as far as the ac goes it it's really cold but anyways let me go let me go outside and show the outside just uh just because i guess and uh, get this mess cleaned up i'm not gonna use that filter yet all right let's go out this way and that's it. So basically doing it yourself, I saved, I forgot what the numbers were, but more than half. More than half. Yeah. See, more than half doing it myself is all, most of it was labor. I, I bought these, I think the, the this unit and that stuff downstairs came to like 3,500 maybe. I forgot, but... Actually, I don't even know if this is turned on yet for uh, 
there's some crud in there, leaves and stuff. Uh, for this year for, for, for cooling season because it has been pretty cool. But that's it all in all. I've had a few comments on, you know, why you elevated it. But I did elevate it just because I thought it was going to keep, you know, varmints out, mice or whatever. They, you know, a little bit more challenging to get up in there because the other one was sitting on this this pad and they can just uh, crawl through wherever and get get to the bottom of it. I mean I'm sure mice can get in here don't get me wrong I don't see any uh, acorns or whatever mice store away there's just leaves in there but and uh, let's see what else can I show uh, gas yeah, that, that's pretty much it let me let me go back so uh, I do remember one comment the guy said uh, uh, all his comment was that's ugly <laughs> so I don't know if he was uh, you know I don't know how a furnace can look ugly, but maybe he was referring to the top of my head or something. He didn't. That's all he said is that's ugly. So maybe he's talking about because his pipe bends or something. But that's, you know, according to the directions, you need it to slope. I had to clear some uh, duct work, but that's why it's sloped like that. But this is where the where it goes outdoors and vents. You know, the condensation has to roll back down. You know, and it catches this tray and gets cycled back down to this uh, to this pump here. And this pump is also for the AC. Uh, unit so I don't know what that fellow was referring to but there's comments like I said that go from uh, you know the, good to bad <laughs> there's uh, most most of them are good and uh, I do appreciate that uh, even the guy that came over to hooked up this line set and I'm sure he was just clowning around he's like hey man you need a job because I told him I made everything you know I made the trunk and and uh, the box down there and and put the electric in you know I, I did everything if you watch the video so uh, I'm sure he's just clowning around but it, you know it made me feel good it, 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 this you know so-called professional I say I keep saying so-called professional because it reminds me of I once did this uh, this video of um, it was uh, hold on a second All right, so so I once did a video on my truck I repaired the AC in my uh, pickup truck and I remember this comment, uh, the guy was like, he, he says he's a professional installer, whatever, whatever his case was. The reason I say so-called professionals because the, the, the guy was going up and down, don't watch this video, it's, everything this guy did was wrong. At least that's the way I read it. I mean, I don't know if he actually said it that way, but the, the point is, it's like at the end of the video, you see the, the ice cold air, it was like 41, I think 39 degrees. 40, at least 40 degrees of blowing ice cold air and it still works to this day that was a couple of years ago so so you get like I said a wide variety of, of comments but it is what it is worldwide web you know anybody can comment I guess you could probably turn the comments on or up but what's the fun of that so anyways that's uh, that's what I got uh, on this HVAC video uh, it's just a little follow-up somebody requested so everything's running perfect uh, I'd look at, I haven't done anything except change that filter and uh, the, I think it's been two seasons now, I, I forget, at least two seasons on the heating cycle, really warm air, I'm so pleased with that. The AC, yeah, I live in Massachusetts, it does get warm, but it doesn't run, you know, if you live down in floor, South Florida or something, but uh, ice cold air too. So, I, I um, because my uh, house is uh, two stories, the air does make it up there, there's ducts that run up there, but... I do have uh, one of those roll around things that I, you know, vent out through the side of the house to help way upstairs, the third floor, because it does, even though there's vents up there, it, it does, you know, it's blowing out, you can feel the vent, you know, when you, when you put your hand up on the ceiling, but it just still gets too hot, you know, heat rises and all that business, but that's got nothing to do with this furnace, this furnace, you know, and the, and the, and the H, uh, the, uh, a, you know, the air conditioned part, all that stuff is designed to do what it, it's doing what it's supposed to do it's just it probably needs something upstairs too as far as you know if you really want to be cold but we're not like cold freaks so it doesn't bother us so like I said if it gets really muggy hotty you know hot outside we, we use that portable thing just roll it out of the closet plug it in it's no big deal so anyways that's all I got for this video I uh, uh, hope that helped uh, you know somebody I forgot the guy's name who requested uh, that he wants to follow up but there it is, and that guy had some good things to say. If he was a naysayer or one of those guys, don't watch this video when I got a follow up. But, anyways, thanks for watching.